Hello everyone! Um, today we are going to take a look at what happens when we have null values that we want to insert into our database. Um, so basically nulls in VB are a bit of a minefield uh, and I did a ton of googling before recording this actually because I'm not an expert on them um, but there's just so much information that I'm not even really going to try and explain it all to you. Um, I'm just going to show you the method that I use to handle them um, and I will pop a link into the description um, of a site that I found which does explain quite well um, like with examples the differences between like um, empty and null and nothing and VB null string um, yada 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 yada. <laughs> um, so just to show you what's going to happen if I don't do anything at all to handle them and just try to submit some null values um, from the form using um, this equal string that we've already got here. So in my form um, I'll not type in anything into these boxes, you can see that they're empty there. Um, and if I can just click add and then go to SQL and have a look, we can just see there that it's inserted blanks into my database here um, when really we want it to be null instead of blanks. Um, and here, because we formatted the date as a date there, it's even sort of chose a minimum value um, for the date of birth field um, when we didn't give it one. Um, and I can just show you if I put a breakpoint um, in here and run that, um, I can take a quick look um, at our text box here and if I just run that first it'll show us there that there's nothing in there. Um, if I write, let's do is empty, I've spelled that wrong, is empty, you can see there that that says false. And then if I add is null and run that, we can see that that's false as well. So you can kind of understand why people get confused with these things. So do read up on it. Um, it is actually quite interesting um, to see why they are all not quite equivalent to null. Um, but there is just a good example of why it is quite confusing and also why you need to make sure you're using the right things. <laughs> um, so... What I like to do is just to add the len function um, around our text box here. And then if I just do and bb null string equals zero, that will then check for both nulls and empty strings. Um, so here we're just checking there what is the length of our the contents of our text box and VB null string, are they equal to zero? And so to use this within our SQL string that we've built up here, we just need to wrap it into an if statement to say like, if the string is empty or null, whatever, then insert null into the database. And if it's not null, then insert the value of the text box. So to do that, we're just gonna put an if around here so if len of the text box and vb null string is zero then use null and if it's not actually we can let's just nick that out of there because i don't need the replace in the len part there we go so does that make sense what i've done there we're just saying if the length of the text box and VB null string is equal to zero, so if there's nothing in it, then use null. And if there is something in it, then use the value of the text box and then replace the single quotes out like we talked about in the other tutorial, whichever one that was. But you may be realising at this point then that the way we had our single quotes before um, here as part of the constant string uh, now won't work because the null value in SQL does not need to be encapsulated in the single quotes um, otherwise it'll just insert the value of null as a string um, like this. Let me just show you. So if I run that and... Um, 
let's get the value of SQL string there. We can see there that it's wrapped null in the single quotes, in which case it would save that as a string. Um, so what we're going to need to do instead is take the single quotes out of here and wrap them around the positive part of the if statement instead. So um, single quote and that and then add the closing quote on to the end there. So on the text box part of the if statement, this is quite hard to explain, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you. <laughs> If we're entering the value of the text box, then put the single quotes around it, basically, is what that's saying. I really hope that that does make sense. <laughs> um, and we can see that working just here. So if I check that now, we can see that it will insert null um, without the single quotes. And if I put just a value into there, we'll see that it has wrapped that in our single quotes. Um, so that's working quite well there. And I'll just show you that this does actually work if we insert that. And let's see, we've now got a null. Um, and then let's have Jenny. There we go. So we can see there that that does indeed work. So yes, that's pretty much it. Um, now I don't claim that this is the best way or the only way to do this. Um, it's just the way that I do it and it's worked well for me so far, which is awesome. <laughs> um, so I'm actually not going to change the rest of these fields um, right now because I think what we're going to do next is we're going to make a module that will do all this for us, like set them to null and put the quotes in and set the format and things like that, because that's quite useful um, when, you, when you're building a large-ish application just to have a little module that will do it all for us. Um, so yes, if you found this tutorial useful, please do like it and subscribe to our channel and feel free to add any comments below and thank you for watching.